Have you uploaded your pictures to Amazon Photos only to find yourself wondering if this is the best place for your family memories? I am here to give you a comparison between Amazon Photos and Forever Permanent Photo Storage so that you can make sure you're preserving your pictures the best way. Bartelt. I'm the owner of Pixology and I help people go from being unsure and overwhelmed with their photo mess to being confident and motivated to get their pictures in order so they can be enjoyed today and passed on to our future generations. Now, if you think this information might be helpful to someone else, give the video a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. You'll be helping me on my mission to help people everywhere save their family memories. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Amazon Photos and comparing it to Forever Permanent Photo Storage. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on the companies, and then I'm going to talk about price, and we're going to talk about the library view, the albums view, how information is added to pictures, and I'll also touch upon privacy and continuity, like are these pictures going to be around in generations? So let's dive in. Amazon Photos clearly is just a little piece of the large, large, like I think it's the largest company in the world, Amazon. It's just one little facet of all that they do for consumers and businesses. So we know that photos aren't like the highest priority for this company. On the flip side, Forever Permanent Photo Storage, its sole mission is <laughs> to look at helping consumers preserve their pictures, videos, and family documents for generations to come. So we're on two very different ends of the spectrum of photo preservation here. I do want to mention that Pixology is an ambassador for Forever. And there's a reason for this. I have reviewed many photo management solutions. And if you want to see that, you can click the link up above for a review of all sorts of other options. We feel that Forever is the simplest solution while also helping ensure that our clients' photos and documents and videos are preserved for a very long time. I am curious to see how Amazon Photos stacks up to forever when we compare it one-on-one -on -one together. Let's dive into our comparison. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the price. It's not a feature, but it is a consideration for some people. Amazon Photos is very inexpensive. For Prime members, the photos, you have unlimited photo storage and you only pay $1.99 a month if you have a lot of video. For people who aren't Prime subscribers, they just pay $1.99 a month also. And it's recurring, so you're paying like two bucks a month and that is pretty cheap, but it's recurring and how irritating is that? Now, Forever has a different model. You pay for the storage one time, okay? So you can buy 10 gigabytes of storage for $199 and that includes for about 3,000 to 5,000 photos and it's a one-time fee, all right? If you need more storage, then you can always add to it. So in the price column, we're gonna have to give the check mark to Amazon Photos. So now we're gonna actually go online and look at both of these programs, okay? And the first feature that we're gonna look at is the library view. And we'll start off by logging into Amazon Photos and we'll see my photo collection. We are looking at pictures that have been uploaded from my phone. I consider this to be the library view, the view where you see all of your pictures that you've ever taken and uploaded to the account. And down the left-hand side, you do have filters that can help you maybe find the pictures that you're looking for, even from facial recognition and items in your pictures. All of that Amazon does automatically. When you hover over the picture, you do get a check mark option, which gives you things that you can do with your pictures. And it also gives you this star, which allows you to favorite the pictures that you love. And so here's the favorites. It's already got 42 pictures in there. And that might help you find the photos you're looking for. So all in all, this photos library view is pretty decent when you first look at it. 
Now, one thing that I will point out is I happen to like organizing my photos in albums, which we will be talking about in a second. The problem in this view is I cannot tell which pictures have not been put into an album yet. That's a serious problem. So, you know, if you're trying to organize your pictures and you can't remember if you put them in an album, Amazon is not going to be able to help you at this time with that. Let's look at the library view in Forever. Clearly it's a different looking interface and I have some photos uploaded here in this demo account. So we're in the library view and you can see that I can order the pictures. There's also year and month filters for finding you know, certain dates if you want. And when you hover over the picture, you do get that heart, which is the same as the star in Amazon. You can check the picture and you do get options on what you can do with the photos. The last thing here though, is Forever offers this I button. So when you hover over it, it actually tells you the name of the picture, the date it was taken, um, the size, and what type of um, you know picture it is. So that little bit of information might be handy at some point. The other thing that I like in the library view here is you have an additional drop down area here where you can show photos that are not in an album. So I'm going to click that. And currently I just have one picture that's not in an album and I can very quickly just check it and add it to an album. And then I know that my pictures, you know, are all in a place that I have set up for my photo organization structure. Now, after comparing these two options, I definitely think Forever gets the check mark because being able to view the pictures that are not in an album is really important. And having that extra eye for the information to be able to hover over that right in the library view in Forever, I think think is a very useful uh, feature as well. Next up, we will talk about the albums view and we're going to go back to Amazon Photos. I'm just clicking on the albums to view the albums that I have created already. And I just have a few in here for testing purposes. And I want to just point out the sorted by date created. I keep changing this to be sort by name because that's how I like to look at my albums. I like to look at the years first and then my subjects of pictures after that. Every time I go out of the albums view, when I come back in, it's rearranged. Just a little pet peeve. I actually have a bigger problem with the albums uh, structure in Amazon Photos because Amazon does not allow you to have nested albums. Uh, what that means is having albums inside albums. So a good example of wanting one is like my grandma's scrapbook photos here and the Cordes Farm. Those are part of my family history and I would really like to have the Cordes Heritage photos being my main album and these two albums being inside of it. There is no way to add nested albums with Amazon Photos. You click the add and you can create an album, but even when you're inside an album, when you click add and you create an album, it takes you back to your photos view to, to select a few pictures and I'll just do this to show you. It creates this new album and I have to name it so I'm just going to put test here and save album and then when I go back this new test album is at the top and again my albums are sorted by date created so a couple problems there in forever it works easier so we're in the library view and I'm going to click on albums when I go to my albums view, you can see I have just a couple created here for our demonstration. And then here's that Cordis family history album that I wanted in Amazon Photos. And I can see there's two nested albums in there. When I go into that view, 
there are the two albums and it's nicely organized by family group so you can have a fairly simple album structure in forever and then have nested albums for topics within you know a category of photos or like even in 2022 I just have an album for each month of pictures because it it helps me to visually see my pictures organized this way for album structure I think forever is gonna get the check mark here as well that nested albums is also really valuable when you're organizing thousands of photos the next category I want to talk about is description and tags and this is the metadata that goes with your photos so let's check it out so back in Amazon Photos, I'm going to click on the Cordis Farm album and select this picture to look at. If I want to see the information for this photo, I need to click on the eye icon and this info pane appears. You can see I've added my mom in the facial recognition and I have changed the date taken to 1958. These are the only two things that I can edit on this photo in terms of information. I can't add the story or any other tags to this picture besides a, a name tag. This is a severe flaw, I think, because if I want my future generations of my family to know the story about my mom here, I'll have to figure out a different way to do that. So let me show you how it works in forever. We're gonna click over here and I'm going to go to the same photo here and you can see the info panel shows up right away. Uh, it could be closed but it's really handy to have this information to view as you open the picture. So when I click show more here you can see I've written in the story of my mom giving the city girl a ride on one of the family cows and this cow was really important to my mom. So I've added that information and I also added some tags here. Her name, the name of the cow because there's other places that I have references to Palsy. And I have a tag for Cordis History Book. This is a handy thing to do if you ever wanted to make a photo book. You can add a tag for a project that you want to do. So this is a lot more information that you can have with the picture. In addition, when you download the photo, it actually asks you if you want to include the metadata. So remember, metadata is all the information that goes with your picture. We changed it, so if I want the person that I download and give this picture to, the I want to update that metadata. Amazon does not offer this, so any changes you make to the information in Amazon are only viewable in Amazon. Clearly here, Forever gets the check mark because you can add a description and tags and that metadata can be downloaded. So Forever is the clear winner in that category. Privacy. This is the next thing that we're going to talk about. Privacy is something I think we need to be worried about and you can look at the privacy terms. The Amazon Photos terms of use doesn't even talk about the privacy and how information is going to be used. It refers you back to Amazon's privacy policy and Amazon's privacy policy talks about a lot of things but one of them is you know customizing the experience for you and being able to recommend products to you. Think about the information that's in your photos like you're just giving Amazon a ton of feedback about what's important in your life. Now Forever also collects information and, and will use it to customize your experience with their products but that's a whole different situation. Forever is only about memory preservation and Amazon is like in everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the check mark to Forever for this one. The last thing I wanna talk about is the access for future generations to have these photos that you're preserving in either Amazon Photos or Forever. 
So let's start with Amazon's terms of service. Here it says, we may change, suspend, or discontinue the service or any part of them at any time without notice. That seems alarming to me. So you could do all this work, maybe even make all the, the albums that you want, and then Amazon says right there that they can end the service at any time. Now on the flip side, Forever is guaranteeing to keep your pictures and documents and videos safe for generations. And when you scroll through the, the guarantee fund explanation, you can see a portion of your money is going in to this fund that will keep your picture safe for generations to come. Completely different and of course, Forever is gonna get the check mark in this area. So when looking at the side-by-side -side comparison, Amazon gets the cheap point and Forever gets all the other check marks. And it clearly is, to me, a better option. I would love to know what you think. Have you been using Amazon Photos? Is it working for you? Leave a comment below and your thoughts might help someone else who's trying to make a decision. That's it for now. I thank you so much for joining and we'll see you the next time. <laughs>